Hi, I'm Jen, a content creator and YouTuber. On YouTube, my name is Jennifer O'Brien and Jennifer's Camera on Instagram. And I'm so excited to be sharing five tips on how to create a cinemagraph. Even if you're a beginner, this video is for you. Tip number one is use a tripod. This might seem kind of basic, but when I first started with Cinemagraphs, I tried without a tripod and the editing is insane. You're not gonna, it's not even just using a tripod, but you cannot move the tripod even a millimeter. It could totally mess it up. So try to be very sturdy, have your sturdiest tripod and don't move it. You wanna take a photo from the tripod immediately and then right afterwards take a video of that same exact scene. Don't move the tripod because the lighting changed. If the lighting changed or anything, then take a photo again, take the video from the exact same spot. Number two, I would say have a plan. That is the most important thing. It is all about the movement. So in a cinemagraph, you're gonna have multiple things moving. I definitely recommend not just focusing on one moving piece, but multiple things moving. So one of my favorite cinemagraphs is me holding a book where all the book pages are moving. I blink and there's a subway moving at the super fast behind me. And I love that there's three things moving. It's one of my favorites and you want to really be coordinated with that. You cannot do it on the fly until you get very experienced and you, you're going to want to figure out, okay, before you even get arrived, what are the pieces that I want to move behind me, whether it's cabs or, or things on the street or people. If it's a time lapse behind you, you just want to think about it ahead of time. What's going to be moving and how can I set up the tripod for success? Number three, I would say try all the apps and tools that are available. There are so many that have made it way too easy to make cinemagraphs, so you should totally check them out. I honestly am still more of a traditionalist. I use Photoshop to select part of an image and then I will put it into, as a PNG, put it into Premiere Pro. I prefer that because I have full total control over it and there are so many new apps that you should totally check out. Number four, save the original files. I'm talking, I will clone the layer a thousand times and it's really fun to sort of see the process in each and every layer. I will, you know, select just around my foot and then sometimes clone it because there have been so many times where I, I accidentally take a chunk of my foot out and then I'm like, oh no, I need the original and it's all, I have to go all the way back but I've edited the lighting and now I have to fix it. So edit the lighting, make that the first step then go in and select, keep cloning and have copies of things so that you can go backwards if you need to. I have unfortunately like made mistakes and then learned the hard way that I need multiple layers. <laughs> Number five, smooth loop. That is the key to a really beautiful cinemagraph, especially on Instagram, where a video will automatically loop. You wanna make sure that the beginning of the video is the same spot as the end of the video. So a lot of times it just means if I'm flipping pages in a book, I make sure to loop it and don't have too many pages moving so that when it, when it stops and then restarts, it doesn't look jarring. So I think a lot of people, when you're first starting out, you have something that moves. Like uh, my first cinemagraph actually back in like 2016 that I ever made was a girl very subtly like moving her head towards the camera and then moving back. And there was like trees where like certain flowers were moving, little things like that. But I do feel like the, the thing that you can sometimes tell it's a cinemagraph and it doesn't work is if there's any little bit that isn't as perfect when she moved her head back to the beginning frame, um, you wanna just say, okay, let's go to the middle and then you can always um, copy and paste the front part to the end so that it is an exact mirror copy and she'll end at the exact spot. So good talking to you. Thank you so much for watching. This has been so fun. Please comment down below any questions. I will totally comment back and I'm so excited for you guys to get started. Please also share your cinemagraphs if you make one. This is so cool. I can't wait to see all that you make and just have fun with it. There's so much that you can do and create and it's gonna be intimidating at first, but if you don't just take that first step, 
you'll never do it. So just do it and I can't wait to see what you've created. Check me out on Instagram, Jennifer's Camera, and on YouTube, Jennifer O'Brien. Thank you so much.